Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Grace and peace from God the Father through our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Today's wisdom will be coming from out of Matthew's, Matthew's number 6, chapter number 6, that's verse 12. It says, and forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Today I want to talk about forgiving those who hurt you, forgiving those who hurt you. Um, we heard, of course, um, uh, president running on the promises of loan forgiveness and of course so many people who went to who went to college finished college and who had accumulated loans student loan they're looking all over for that uh, they're waiting they're anticipating they're expecting the loan uh, forgiveness uh, whether or not they're gonna fulfill that particular promise but we know over 2,000 years ago God had made a promise to forgive us of our our debt our sin debt of course uh, Romans 3:23 says for we all have sinned and comes short of the glory of God. That word sin uh, is it is in a past sin. Is a past past sin uh, with an active voice, meaning that we've sinned and we continue to sin. And the wages of sin is, is death. But God, through His love for humanity, sent Jesus to the Christ at Calvary Cross, and Jesus prayed on our behalf and said, Father, forgive us of uh, forgive them of their sin. They don't know what they're doing. We place our faith in Him. Uh, and, and God imputed the righteousness of Christ upon us. He put righteousness in our account. And of course, uh, the prerequisite of that is I must forgive others if I'm going to receive the forgiveness uh, 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 of God. And I know we're living in a day and a time where some of us have been seriously uh, wounded by others. We we have endured horrific uh, horrific cruelty. But, but we have to always remember that uh, that nothing can happen to a child of God without God, first of all, allowing, uh, just as the, the, the brothers of Joseph, uh, God knew exactly what the brother were doing. They, 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 they sold him into slavery uh, uh, and uh, uh, when said he would, he died, but God used that, uh, even though that meant for evil, God used it uh, for their, their good. Of course, uh, tonight as we deal with our table talk and Bible uh, class, we're going to be dealing with why should I forgive? Why should I forgive? And in four areas we're going to deal with. Number one, forgiveness allow God to forgive us of our sin. Of course, if I want to be forgiven, then I must forgive. Number two, forgiveness reveal our faith in God's word. God's word tells us what to do, and when we do it, we reveal that we have faith in God's word. And number three, uh, forgiveness closed doors to other, other sin. Of course, hurt people hurt people, and if we're going to close doors, we need to uh, forgive. And then for, fourthly, forgiveness make me, make us look like God. So please join us tonight as we deal with this particular subject, this important subject for giving those who hurt us. May God bless you, be good, may he smile upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. That's my prayer for you and your family today, for giving those who hurt you.